lives matter. <sighs> They're in the news. According to NBC News, Indiana Attorney General Todd Rokita has sued the Black Lives Matter Global Network Foundation as part of his investigation into whether donations from state residents were used for legitimate purposes and not the group's leadership's personal benefit. So there have been stories that have been coming out with in the last few weeks saying mm -hmm. that there was a brouhaha within the Black Lives Matter movement and their misappropriation of funds. Mm -hmm. Roland Martin had did a story on it and just like, where's the money? So um, during the protest in, uh, with George Floyd, for George Floyd, and amongst other atrocious acts that have happened within this country, they have raised an excess of $90 million. Mm, mm, mm. Because people, white and black and Asian and uh, Latino, they all believed in eradicating racial inequality. But you, they're saying that they weren't as forthcoming with where the funds were going because they wanted to make sure that it was safe to do so before they actually came out and made their uh, had a press release or whatever to say where the monies were going. But when you have something of this magnitude, you don't have the luxury to say, well, we're gonna do it when it's safe. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So as the person here who works at a nonprofit, they're, Budget before was 1.4 mil a year. So you're talking, you know, um, staffing, headquarters, the, the salaries, marketing, rent, all that whatever, stuff. all that good stuff. After, mm -hmm. after George Floyd, the world became aware of mm -hmm. the racism that exists. So you had um, Facebook saying donate to these organizations. Boards. You know, it, it was something that happened after George Floyd um, was murdered that everybody was like, I need to um, help. So they started them to give. So to go from 1.4 up to 90, is a big jump mm -hmm. and I don't know if they had the staff or the, uh, the development team, the financial and make sure that they dotted every I and crossed every T because they weren't, weren't used to this large amount. You know, I was thinking about it from all angles. And so I thought about like, okay, what if I created a nonprofit? I, I solely, it was my idea. I, I came up with the idea and um, I started from the bottom. I was, you know, driving around in my car, you know, poor as hell. And I worked my way um, to the top with this nonprofit organization. Um, I wouldn't expect me if, if all this money came in, I wouldn't, I went first, I wouldn't purchase a $6 million home, but I'm not purchasing a six, uh, um, uh, $160,000 home either. If, uh -huh. if, there's, if there's all this money in the bank and I'm the one that created this organization. Well, it wasn't that she paid, she purchased a home, but if she purchased a home with the, the monies from donations, it wasn't like from her salary. And, and they're, they're, saying, they're saying it's not a home, it's their safe haven headquarters, their safe haven because they received death threats. Over 2,500 death threats. Uh, we they have to pay for security. And had Trump saying, saying, why don't you just shoot them? So, I right. mean, they do experience, you know, mm -hmm these things so they do well 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 to, to put context to 
to put context to what you said, the defense secretary, because everybody's still coming out about stuff with right. Trump. Uh, yes. Everybody <laughs> that left his organization. It's like, I, I'm going to tell it all now. Uh, I'm not the defense secretary said that Trump, during a, a Black Lives Matter rally, said, can't you just shoot them? Just shoot oh, them in the God. legs or something. Oh, shit. Shoot them in the freaking legs. This is the president. Of the United States, he drains me. Like he also said that Trump reportedly fantasized about shooting migrants trying to cross the U.S.-Mexico border in 2019. And Where they do that? At? These fools want him to run again. That's the thing. He still is the head man in charge when it comes to. The GOP, like they still need him to be on their side. They still want him to endorse them. So it's just like he's not going away. Um, the there's a female who was ahead of the Black Lives Matter chapter in New York. She was like screaming and stomping and yelling about how the money was being misused. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. she was one of the first people like waving a flag saying, Sound hey, alarm. yeah. Cause she mm -hmm. probably was living in a project apartment saying, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Mm -hmm. I'm still living in the projects and you guys over there buying homes. Mm -hmm. So, but I, with most- Safe havens. But <laughs> with most nonprofits, they post their donations they post mm -hmm. their uh dumb the fiscal dumb year and their spending and stuff so i don't know if they got to that point because at the end of the day as a nonprofit, you have to be as transparent as possible like just say i paid this we did this we gave this so then no one thinks you're that something is fishy. Something you shouldn't mm -hmm. do. And but that's why I'm, folks like um, Sean King, he always like shows what he spent and what he did. So no one says he's stealing. Mm -hmm. So I just think that's just something that, that the, 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 the former president of the United States literally turned what the Black Lives Matter movement was supposed to be about, and he turned it into being a, a terrorist organization and a terrorist group, you know, and I know that they were getting death threats. I know that that they not lying about that. Mm -mm. I know these because these people, they were threatening us just for saying that Marilyn Manson was guilty. I said, I ain't never throw, I'm going to leave white people stuff to the white people. I ain't never I'm doing weak. that again. I'm never bet doing that your, again. Bet you learned your lesson, huh? <laughs> Listen, I got reprimand, barely reprimanded. She was just like, you know what? Let's stick white people stuff to keep white people stuff to the white people. Listen, just. I'm, I'm just weak. like, why am I getting, why, why is YouTube now having to filter these comments because people are saying in there, Than, uh, uh, Beyonce's Beyonce's Beehive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my good mind and be like mm -mm, we ain't we no <laughs> the white people problems. No, we not gonna talk about it. You leave the white people stuff to the white people. We not talking we about not Mickey Mouse, white people. Donald Dog, nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Mouse, none of them. Ooh. No, Ooh, girl, because you know. So, I mean, Black Lives Matter, if, if this, if, if it comes out and because of the fact that I, the, um, Indiana IG has done it, who knows what other red states mm -hmm. are going to now do to follow suit because mm -hmm. it seems like they all operate from that same playbook, mm -hmm. no matter what state, state that they're in. And at this point, 
we need a we need we need that movement mm -hmm. and maybe that's why the melanin movement is here you know what i mean because of the fact that we don't have if if black Lives matter is 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 a terrorist group and they all they're trying to say is that our lives matter, matter. I think that we should go back to where it first started. When they first even said the words Black Lives Matter, it was a whole thing. Yeah. Oh you trying to tell God. me my life doesn't matter? matter. All lives matter. All they heard. We didn't say that. We didn't, we didn't say that your like lives said didn't before, matter. They're but trying to put that word only heard. in that sentence. Like in that phrase, they're trying to put they only. Heard. That all they heard was my life didn't matter because I didn't God. say you. <laughs> That's like all nobody they was heard. talking to you. Like, <laughs> like I like, say, yeah, nobody was even talking to you. But like, yeah, so, it, but it all at the end of the day, all it goes back to white supremacy. There no, it wasn't, so it, and that's why I stopped following them because it wasn't until Steve Harvey's wife posted mm -hmm. on her IG all lives matter mm -hmm. and niggas came out for her <laughs> <laughs> they was gunning they was like nigga what because <laughs> i didn't see her really post as much since then mm -mm. she would post a, a a thing here a thing there but once she said all lives matter it was a wrap mm -mm, and people mm -mm, saw that mm -mm. How you gonna tell your husband to not go warn your husband that he shouldn't go visit with Trump? But you, you gonna put gonna all lives matter on your, your um social media mm, page. Mm, 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 mm. And don't try to say it was your um your team. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what they do. You know, somebody in my team, I'm going somebody to get I'm gonna I'm gonna team. get to the bottom of this, gonna find out who it was. Somebody hack my account. <laughs> right? Nah. And gonna post all lives matter. <laughs> People came for she, but you know what? We as a people, and I say this, and I'm gonna say it till we blue in the, blue in the face. We need a a super PAC mm -hmm. yeah. like a NRA, and mm -hmm. and BLM was on its way to being that because look how much money they raised just. Mm -hmm. But could this be the thing, the, the catalyst? Um, to try and stop them from being. I, I just pray. I really, really, really that's pray that there was no foul play. That they were honest because if right, they were, that's I, all honest, right. Because you know I'm they are looking gonna, at it half full. Oh you my, know, they that's better. A good point. They, but could they, this be that thing that's like, oh, we're going to right and the. The thing is, it's supposed to suppose. I mean, let's be real. They bought some some place them in California. If they bought some place here in the city, it probably would have been about about four or five. Especially with million. the Georgia or North Carolina would have right. Been. That six million dollars would have been right. one million dollars. Right. It was super real. Yeah. <laughs> different but they they could have had an estate you know yeah, for six million, so, they could have housed a whole team yeah i hope because it's always like when we get to a certain level of power corruption always comes yeah. but yeah. it's and different but think about it it's the same thing with white people but they just know how to hide that money right so I'm just saying, is this that thing to make the world see, oh, yes. see, they were this thing and y'all went and donated and, and they, uh, and now look, right. Look. So which will then make it 30,000 times harder hard for the next, for the next. Yeah. Look, so every, I'm just, you know, I pray that they find the right financial team who can, you know, make sure that all their 
eyes are really dotted and crossed mm-hmm. every day. So also and, to oh go ahead, Eve, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say every new level requires a new devil. So regardless, every time you go higher, you're gonna always have somebody else coming at you. So now you just gotta do like like Shauna said, dot the dot the I's, cross the T's, make sure you on point. Have every receipt. Yep. Yep. Two two quick points. Um Black Lives Matter movement is equivalent to the Black Panther movement back in the day. That's mm-hmm. how they that's how they deemed us as like mm-hmm. the Black Panther movement. Right. True. And they did everything in their power to get rid of the Black Panther movement. Mm-hmm. But um, then going to keep then going to keep WIC. And WIC yeah, became was, WIC became a government funded program. Right. Yeah. Started, yeah. But that yeah. was started by us. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So it's just like we yeah. can't be all that bad. Exactly. You're exactly. We adopted an, an entire program f- for women mm-hmm. and infants. Hmm. And then second point I have is that God forbid they come up with there was some shady stuff going on. I'm getting tired of I, I, I don't want to say black people, but I'm just getting tired of where people you say Black people of color, when they get to a certain level, like you have, first of all, you know that they are watching you and they are gunning for you. (laughs) So why do you wait till you get to a certain level to start acting a fool? (laughs) You know, it's like, come on now. And it seems like a lot of, even down to black celebrities, you know, the whole thing with Will Smith slapping um, Chris Rock. Like, why? Like, why do we always, you know, Cosby, R. Kelly. Like, why do we have where people get to a certain level? You know they're watching you. I remember hearing years ago, like, there is a team of cops that are designated just for black rappers. Mm. Like, that's their goal is take down the, black the hip-hop rappers. Cops. They're like the FBI cops. agents. It's FBI agents. They, their goal is to take down the. If you, you by this point, you've been in, you've been in the game for so long. Somebody had to tell you, listen, they watching you. Make sure your taxes is on point. That, why is it we still hearing that rappers have guns in their cars that are, are are not licensed? Why? Like that's like the but common see, thing. I I agree with you, but then I disagree because of the fact that it's always when one of us do something, does something. It now is a reflection on all of all us, black. and we're not it's individualized, just a few bad apples. right? Yeah. yeah, as opposed to when 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 Jeffrey Dahmer out here eating people up, they don't be like, "Well, all oh, white people right. are people cannibals. Are cannibals," you know. Right. You know, they, they don't right. do that. But yeah. then you know, Will Smith, you know, come out. And, you know, I told oh, you they was violent. The I told black. you they was violent. They just, you know, the all black men. But you know what? I'm 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 gonna play the devil's advocate like I I like to. So, um, Miss Maiden, you have this show, and there's rules and regulations. I know that there's certain words you can't say. There's certain things you can't do because you know they would. You'll get flagged. You get flagged. Mm-hmm. You would be an idiot to keep using the same words over and over again. Like you can't oh because I'm black. No, that's the rules. Like why do you keep doing the same shit over again? And then get mad at people for flagging you. Like no, so no. But I, I could, I could use the words that I want to use. I just can't monetize. Exactly, exactly. So I can say every, anything I want to say. Feel floor, feel floor, feel floor, flip. And, and, and <laughs> I just can't, I just can't monetize. I wonder why I'm not making it. <laughs> I can't, my, but I can say whatever I want, but just don't, right. just don't add a, the option to monetize. But, but I think that's with the, everything. If you want to like climb the corporate um to reach a certain um, level, you have to know how and when to say certain things and when not to say certain things. So I mean, so um, would that be considered being a sellout? No, I don't think that because I want to climb the ladder of success to be a certain way, that doesn't mean that I have to lose who I am. Mm -hmm. It just means in certain instances, I'm not going to wait until I'm in this 
board meeting and say, this sucks, you know, mm-hmm. and like, it's like in de- adapting to your whack, environment, you know, mm-hmm. like I'm not gonna, you know, yeah, adapting so, to your environment, like, yeah. I think well, like being in a, in a, like in a, in a, how in a, you say it, like in you ain't gonna go spot, to the, you ain't gonna go to spot a funeral singing at the, the top of your lungs. <laughs> you ain't gonna go to a funeral doing the soul train line down the aisle. To pass, <laughs> right, like, it's just, you, right. you just gotta know, you know, you are to like, your way. environment, right. your surroundings, right. you know, right. Like, like for example, we all know. I've I've seen other my other cultures get stopped by cops, and they're questioning the cop. And who do you right, think you want? Right. Let me see your badge number. Right. At this point in 2022, we as Black people know right. we this can't do that. Thing. We, we haven't reached that point yet. Right. It's not fair, but I want to go right. home to my family. Right. So even though yeah. it's not fair, there's certain rules and regulations we still have to follow with this right. skin color until to come home. <clears throat> exactly. To come so, home now. Once I'm home now, I'll go to the precinct. I'm a go <laughs> to my the, the representative. I'm a I'm a file a complaint, but mm-hmm. I'm home. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just pray that Black Lives Matter, they get through this. It's not fair to them because this is a movement we, I don't think we've had a big movement like that in years. I think since Martin Luther King marched and since um, the, the Million Man March, we haven't had anything of that magnitude. And the fact that it's not surprising that they're trying to take them down. I just pray that this group of um, individuals were smart enough to know the do's and the don'ts, having a a biz, a, a, a organization of that magnitude, of that you know aura, that knowing that people are gonna be, you know, trying to attack them. So I just you know I I'm I'm gonna put them on my prayer list, and I pray that they get through this because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, if they don't get through this, we will not see in our lifetime another group like them because now it will the the Black Lives Matter movement will always overshadow any other groups that come about needing money to mm-hmm. make it. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and to, to be fair, the, the most of the news outlets that are covering this particular story are oh, all right. right wing media outlets. So, okay. Figure. We'll see. We'll, 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 we'll keep a, a finger on the pulse moving forward. Listen, I don't know about you, but we did good today. Yeah. All right. <laughs> um, so what what are your takeaways, Lady? <laughs> what are your takeaways? Well, my takeaway is if you're in a relationship and you're not having fun in the bed, tell your partner. Say, listen, I need something different and let me show you how. And if you're at a job and you're unhappy before it gets too bad, try to voice your opinion before it gets to the point where you want to sue the job. (laughs) That's my takeaway. I'll say in all things, be honest with you and be honest with the other person or or job or, or world. At the end of the day, just be honest i'm sorry um he should got me with that one um <laughs> i have no I, I this is like the first time i honestly have nothing to say it's hard to just know if you're triggered call out that you're triggered <laughs> i'm triggered <laughs> message you you done as you was done that's all you have to say as far as your tri- triggers Okay, well, my takeaways is this. If you're a man and you know that you messed up, take that L. We love Wear that L with pride. Because maybe you taking that L will get your family back together. That's what I'm saying. We love it. Because Psalm says that a broken spirit and a contrite heart, he won't despise it or cast it away. And since we are made in his image, that means that I may not cast you away if you came back to me with a broken spirit and a contrite heart. Word. But y'all want to be so big, bad, bo? 
Nah, because you ain't put the toothpaste cap back on. Look, accountability oh. is sexy. Mm. I like that. That is the new sexy. Yes. Yeah, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I came back from being triggered. <laughs> Yes, yes, with the triggerization. You know, just it, it. We really need more men to just stand in their truth and take that, take that hit. You know what I'm saying? Take because you don't see that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Uh -uh. <laughs> you know, take no, uh -uh. no. <laughs> Not that one. Not the did you take that? Take but, that. You know. <laughs> Listen, if you listen to podcasts, we're on podcasts on Apple, Spotify, Amazon Music, Audible, and all the other places where you get your podcasts. So check us out there. Boop. And until next time, to my lovely Lolitas, Keish, Eve, and Shauna Dawn, I'm Kaya. Good night! <laughs>